In the opening scene, we are shown a dry lake. The ground surrounding the lake was black and scattered with the remains of deceased animals. A withered tree stood alone in the center, appearing quite melancholy. The scene then transitions to a family who recently moved into a new house situated near the lake. Jess, accompanied by her two children, settled into their new home. Her family consisted of a daughter and a younger son, Owen. They brought along their faithful dog who remained by their side. The dog and Owen quickly became great companions. Here we also find out some things about Jess. Jess used to take sleep medicines before and did not pay any attention to her family. That's why her two children, her husband, were closer to her dad. Jess was separated from her children, but now she had taken custody of her children. Jess was fine now. Outside, Jess's son is playing with his dog. Sometimes she thinks of a prank. He climbs on the roof and jumps, which scared Jess a lot. She refuses her son, Owen, because she did not want her children to be separated from him due to any carelessness. Owen now apologizes to Jess. When she was going inside, we see the dog, who was standing looking towards the jungle. I don't know what he was seeing. He barks very loudly, but no one pays attention to this. On the same night, when they were sleeping, the dog was sitting and looking towards the jungle. Which was very strange. But still, Jess does not pay attention to him and goes to sleep. The next day, Jess leaves her children at her husband's house. Then her husband gives her an envelope, which Jess does not open and goes to her job. Jess was a nurse in a hospital. She goes and meets her friend, then a patient, who had no one in the world. And that woman did not want to be alive. But Jess explains to her a lot. She says, look, listen to me, life is very precious. After that, we see Jess's children, who had returned home. And they go to the same lake to catch fish, which we saw at the beginning of the story. But when they see his condition, they get worried because the lake was dry and drowning. But then their dog starts running and gets stuck in the mud while running. Owen and his sister both help him. When they go home in this condition, Jess gets very angry. She scolds them both. When they were eating dinner at night, Owen did not like the food. Jess tells him, son, please eat this today. Tomorrow I will give you your favorite food. The next morning they see that Owen's dog was very hungry looking towards the jungle. This time he runs and goes to the jungle. Owen also runs after him. But a fence in the jungle stops due to the flood. And after stopping there, he came back to his house. He sits and waits for his dog. He tells his mom, please go and find him. But Jess says, wait, he will come by himself by morning. The next morning when Jess comes back from her job, she finds out that Owen was not at home. He had gone to find his dog. She finds her son and brings him back. And she explains to him, Son, why are you doing this? He will come back. At night, Owen sees his dog outside his house. He tells everyone. Jess also follows him. But Owen's dog was a little strange. His eyes were also yellow. Which looked very scary. As soon as he sees, the dog attacks Owen. He bites his leg. When Jess tries to get him out, he bites Owen's neck too. Due to which Owen was now very injured. And a lot of blood was also coming out. Jess takes him to the hospital. The doctor does his operation. There Jess's husband also came. Who gets very angry at him. He shouts a lot. It's all because of you. Jess says, remember, you gave that dog to Owen. After the operation, Owen's condition improved. He comes to his senses. So Jess feeds him. But Owen didn't like the food. He didn't like his taste. Jess thinks, maybe it's because of his health. But why was that? What was happening to Owen? We will find out a little later. In the next scene, we see Owen, whose condition had worsened now. He was spitting. The doctors were also not understanding what happened to him. That's why they also give him an injection of consciousness and get his blood tested. But the doctor doesn't know anything about them either. After a while, when Owen comes to his senses, he drinks the same blood, which was being offered to him. Jess gets very worried seeing this. But she doesn't tell anyone about this. Now because Owen didn't get blood, his condition was getting worse. That's why Jess keeps giving him blood. She used to steal this blood from the hospital's blood bank. When Owen goes home, so Jess came from the hospital to steal a lot of blood packets. She used to hide it from her daughter and give Owen blood. One day, Owen's need exceeds the limit. He drinks all the packets together. When Jess sees this, she gets very worried. She didn't understand what happened to her son. Now he stopped getting blood from everywhere. That's why Jess starts giving his son animal blood. But as soon as he drinks the blood of the animal, Owen's condition gets worse. Jess had no other way. She starts giving Owen her own blood. With time, Owen's desire to drink blood was increasing, which made Jess very worried. 
That's why she stopped sending him to school. One day, Jess researches. What infection has happened to her son? That he only wants to drink human blood. But Jess doesn't get any answer for this. By not giving her own blood. Her condition was also not good. Jess needed someone else. Whose blood she can give to her son. The next morning, her husband comes to pick up the child. Jess was very worried about this. She gives her son's blood in a bottle. She says, son, take care of yourself. No one else should know about this. Then she goes to the hospital. There again, that sick woman tried to kill herself. But the doctor saves her. Jess gets an idea here. She tries to take out the blood of that woman many times. But it doesn't work. The next day, the woman is told to go to the hospital. Because she was completely fine now. Jess comes to her, and makes her sit in her car on the pretext of leaving the house. That woman says, because of you, Jess, I understood the value of life. But she didn't know the poor thing, that Jess only wanted to kill her now. Jess makes that woman unconscious. She ties her in the basement of her house, and starts taking out the blood. When that woman comes to her senses, Jess says to her, please forgive me. This is my helplessness. My son will die. Jess spends a lot of time with her son now. She didn't even send him to school. Jess's daughter knew everything, but still she doesn't say anything to her mom. One day she sees the basement, where it was locked. That's why when Jess is not at home, then her daughter goes inside the basement through the window, where she sees that woman tied up, who was in a very bad condition. Jess's daughter tries to get rid of her, but then Jess came there. Her daughter hides after seeing her. Jess also understood that her daughter is here. Now she tells everything to her daughter that she is doing all this because of her brother. She was also ready to support Jess after hearing all this. One day when Jess wants to take out the blood of that woman in the basement. So that woman was ready to give blood herself this time. That's why Jess opens it. But taking advantage of this, that woman tries to attack Jess and run away. At the same time, the police also came to Jess's house. Which was looking for the same woman who had been kidnapped by Jess. But somehow Jess makes her unconscious again. And then she goes upstairs and talks to the police. The next morning, Jess's children had to go to her husband's house. Jess tells her daughter to take care of her brother. Going there, Owen was looking at his father's other wife very carefully. And he thinks of drinking her blood. But his sister takes him aside and explains to him. And gives a little blood to drink. But he drank all the blood. Owen's sister had now understood that Owen is slowly losing control over himself. When she comes back, she tells everything to her mother. But Jess was talking about giving more blood to her son. Then these people go for a walk. When Jess comes back to her house, the basement door was open. That woman had run away from here, which Jess had captured. She was running towards the jungle. Owen follows her. That woman does not pay attention while running fast. And the fence in the jungle cuts her throat with the arrow. Owen also comes to her there. Later, Jess too. But Jess comes and sees a strange sight. Owen was drinking the blood of that woman. Jess hides the woman's body first. The next morning, Jess gives her blood to Owen again. But now she was not in a condition to give her son more blood. But Owen was asking for blood again and again. Then Jess's husband comes to her house. Who brought an officer with him? Because he said that Jess was not sending his son to school. On the other side, we see Jess's daughter. Who was looking at the tree near the same lake. When she goes near that tree, she sees some strange things. She comes back and tries to tell Jess. But Jess's husband does not let her talk. And with the help of the government officer, he takes both the children with him. After their departure, Jess tries to draw her blood again. So that she can give her son blood. Over there at Jess's husband's house. Owen was trying to drink the blood of his father's second wife's son. His sister comes and stops him. After which she takes him to the same jungle. She tells him that I have seen something in that dry tree. She says that I am going to burn that tree. So that I can save you. But as soon as Owen hears this, he attacks him. Owen's eyes were also painted like his dog. His veins were visible on his face. Seeing Owen's face, his sister gets scared and tries to run away. On the other hand, his dad goes to Jess looking for him. He thought that maybe his children are with Jess. When he was not there, Jess is also very scared to hear about her children. Then she remembers that her daughter had told her about the dry tree. She goes there immediately. It was a strange sight to go there. She sees that Owen was not in her control at all. He was trying to drink the blood of his own sister. Jess comes and explains to Owen. But her daughter says, Mom, this is not our Owen. Owen had completely turned into a devil. Jess kills him there in the same soil. It was a very sad scene. Jess was doing so much for her son.
Now she has to kill him. Owen was dead. Jess tells her daughter that she did not tell anyone about this. She tells everyone about Owen's death. But because of her son's death, her daughter's custody was also snatched from her. On the way, her daughter says, whatever you did was absolutely right, mom. She sees Jess who sets that tree on fire. And then she plays with a dog like Owen used to play with his dog. That dog also starts barking while playing and looking towards the forest. If we talk about that tree, there was a creature in it who first put the virus inside Owen's dog and the virus went inside Owen by cutting the dog. But in all this, Jess had lost her children. What Jess did to that woman was wrong. But because of being a mother, she just wanted to save her son who had to kill himself in the end. To save everyone. And with this sad ending, this story ends here.